Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Another edition of this uh, series of White Trash West Watson bashing, which I fucking love it. Only because, why do I love it? I love it because it's what Wes Watson represents that I have a fucking problem with. And what I have Wes Watson in my mind representing is a an image of a male role model that is distorted and that is faulty and that is further uh, delaying a lot of young men getting on the right path because I understand a lot of guys are lost they're struggling you know they're not happy they've got vices insecurities things that they got that they need to get rid of hold on one second so guys If you think that Wes Watson and the way that that man carries himself and the way that that man talks about other, other men and the things that that man values to not only build his brand but to validate himself, if you think that that's what a real man is, then I really think that you need to reevaluate that. And you just clearly haven't lived enough. Because the, here's the thing, real men don't disrespect other men. Real men don't call people names and make fun of the way they look. That's, what, that's high school shit. Real men don't talk down to their inferiors to make themselves feel better. I've talked about this many times, you know, I train, I do jujitsu pretty much every fucking day. And I train with a lot of different people, black belts, brown belts, white belts. The black belts don't make fun of the white belts. Because they have something called respect. Wes Watson doesn't respect anybody. Wes Watson is presenting an image of strength and determination and success and power that young, stupid, impressionable boys that don't have a lot of real life experience are gonna be tricked into thinking that that's what they need to be in order to be a real man, in order to be strong, in order to be tough or whatever. But the fact is, is that again, it's clear to me that there is something very fundamentally wrong with this fucking guy. I have a feeling that the guy's gay. I really, from the bottom of my heart, think Wes Watson is gay. I think he hates himself for it. I think that there's nothing. That's why he even, he's even said, no amount of money, no cars, no women even, even excite me. They don't even satisfy me. So the thing is, is that he's built up this image of himself, of what he wants you to think of him as. But even... That, what he's built, doesn't satisfy himself. When no, it only temporarily can satisfy him when someone's validating him. But as soon as he goes home, as soon as the cameras are off, that guy's miserable. That's why he can't sleep. He talks about sleeping three, four hours a day. It's probably a lie, because just like everything else, 90% of the shit that he said, but it wouldn't surprise me if that, that, that man cannot, does not sleep well. So that's what Wes Watson is. Wes, Wes Watson is calling himself a coach, trying to tell you that he cares about you. The only person that Wes Watson cares about is his image. 
and you know he is a bully he's a sinister bully and that's and he's weak because bullies are weak because a bully won't won't pick a fight with somebody their own size they won't fuck with somebody that's strong somebody that will stand up for themselves that's capable So see what Wes Watson does is Wes Watson, because I can guarantee you if someone like Jocko Willink was at that fucking podcast and he gave his definition of success and it didn't match up with Wes, Wes would have been a lot more respectful. He could die. Because see, Wes can only try to punk somebody that he feels is inferior to him. And what happens when you when you face a bully and you punch him in the face, you know what happens? They run away. Because Wes Watson can't stand on his own two feet when there's any resistance. That's why that guy will never go to a dojo. He'll never ever do any real sort of physical competition because he can't stand to lose. He, he, so he creates his own little reality, his own little false reality that he's some big bad alpha male because he only surrounds himself with weak, damaged, lost young men who look up to him because they don't know any better. And that's what this video is about. This fucking video is about hopefully putting some fucking seeds in young men's head I'm not telling you I'm a coach. I don't have any coaches. I believe you have to find the answers yourself. Now you can have some people as mentors help guide you, but only you are gonna fix yourself. That's it. You're never going to fucking find some guy on the on the top of a mountain that's going to tell you the answers to your life's problems. It's not ever going to happen. And the fact that we have people like Wes Watson who think that they have all the answers just tells me that he all he wants to do is take your money and all he wants to do is get attention. Because someone that's seeking attention is somebody that's very insecure on the inside. So I think that Wes Watson is probably gay. I know that he's a he's a, a beta male. What the fuck kind of an alpha male takes care of multiple women's children that they had with other men? I'm gonna make a video only about this topic, but it's a nice segue, it's a nice little teaser for some future videos that I'm gonna put out. But I want you to really consider what big apex predator alpha male would go hunting or protect another man, another wolf, lion, bears, offspring. They wouldn't. But because Wes Watson is on so many steroids, probably is impotent. And because he's so fucking screwed up, even the most dysfunctional woman would, I think, have to at least strongly consider how much of an awful uh, decision it would be to have Wes Watson as the father. So, you know, you have a guy who's pretending to be an alpha male, but he takes care of other men. He, he uses his financial resources to take care of other men's children. He demeans other men. He makes fun of other men by the way that they look. You know, he blows up and can't control himself when somebody simply does the, the heinous crime of disagreeing with him. And he quantifies his success based on, you know, material things. He is everything, Wes Watson is everything that is wrong with this country. Everything that is wrong with this society. And the thing of it is, is that because of a lot, a lot of young guys don't have fathers, don't have role models, weren't taught right from wrong. 
they look at Wes Watson and they don't have, they're not looking at him through the right filter. They look at the optic they see of Rolls Royce, Bugatti, mansion, girls, tattoos, money, and they think that that's, that's what makes a real man. But see, that's, that's the secret sauce. That's what Wes Watson is using to lure you in to his bullshit. And you have to, you have to see that. You have to understand that. But that only happens with time. That only, I mean, you know, the video I made about Wes Watson having a small penis, which, you know, I don't even, I would be surprised if he, if he, if he can even get it hard. You know? I mean, but again, I think that Wes Watson only has a girl around just to make it look like he's not gay. Because I'm telling you, you know, there, there, there's something not right with him. There's something off with this dude. And I think it's a suppression of some impulses that he has that he can't control no matter what he does. That's my, that's what I think. That dude is definitely gay. I'm not the first person that's called him out on it either. Let's just don't, let's not act like I am. Cause this motherfucker has got some serious problems. And we as a community of YouTubers as content creators need to point the, this stuff out so that we can help, you know, arm young men with at least an admonishment of the dangers of following someone like Wes Watson. Because there are a lot of great role models on the internet. Wes, Jocko Willink is one. David Goggins, for the most part, is one. Um, the, you know, the I, I keep forgetting the guy's name, but the cowboy guy on uh, the Wrangler School, that guy. There's people out there. Um, Ramsey Dewey's another guy. I think he's a great role model, you know, in the martial arts space. But see. It's very hard as a young person when you're lost and no one is pointing these things out to you to get sucked into what Wes Watson is offering, what he's telling you. And that's why I'm making this video because he is leading young men astray. Any amount of goodness that comes out of his mouth is immediately deleted by the way that this man carries himself. You, if you're going to be a role model, you got to have the whole package. Wes, you talk about stats across the board. Let me tell you something. The way you carry yourself, you you made yourself look. You could not have made yourself look worse on this Fresh and Fit podcast for the whole world to see. And I would argue that your 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 misconduct alone that day completely deletes anything good that has ever come out of your mouth. You are an embarrassment to yourself. You are an embarrassment to your brand. You are an embarrassment to your followers. And you're an embarrassment to anybody that even associates with you. So there's no amount of money. There's no, I don't care how hot your girlfriend is. I don't care how many followers you have on Instagram. I don't care how much money you have in your bank account. I don't care about how many Bugattis you have. There is nothing that that man can do to make me have one tiny shred of respect for him. The guy is a fragile, beta, closet homosexual who's right, who is goosed out of his mind on fucking Tremblone and the whole fucking world knows it. I hope you see this, Wes. I hope you see this, Wes, because I'm going to tell you something. That video on Fresh and Fit is the beginning of your fall, motherfucker. I'm out.